Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I go by Yabi Yab. If you're a returning subscriber, all love. And if you're a newcomer, if it's your first time seeing my face, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I truly appreciate it. And in today's video, we're going to be talking. We're going to have a little girl talk. I haven't done a girl talk video in a while. And if you guys haven't watched my previous girl talk videos about frenemies, fake friends, I don't know if a friend is jealous, definitely I suggest that you guys watch that. I'll click it in, link it in the cards up here. I hate doing videos with my glasses because of reflection sometimes gets annoying when i edit but nonetheless we are going to be having a girl talk about fakies fake friends how to know when you have a fake friend because of course we don't want our friends to be fake but it's unfortunate that we encounter some fake people in our lives and then we don't plan for it but it happens and sometimes people are good friends from the start and then I don't know where they just change and switch up on you and they become fake. <laughs> so we're, I'm going to be giving you guys 10, 10 signs to know if you have a fake friend or if you're the fake friend. Because you don't know. Maybe you're the one that's the fake friend. And <laughs> maybe you have to work on yourself, work on being a better friend. Just be a good person. Be a good Samaritan, you know. So I'm just going to jump right into it with sign number one. So the first sign of a fake friend is an opportunist. We have friends that are opportunists, like they'll get close to you to grab an opportunity, whether it's you just know the spots, you have the connects, you know, you know a lot of, not a lot of people, but you know quality people, because you guys know it's quality over quantity, okay? You don't want to have too many just like people around but you want to have quality people <laughs> so seriously like you probably know the big boys or you know people that are just well connected or or you know you know you know the big you know you know the big girls and the big boys and maybe like you are just very connected and that friend comes around you and you allow that friend to come around you because if <laughs> I'm grabbing my friends to live the viva, the viva loca, whatever you call it. But at the same time, it doesn't have to be reciprocated because not everybody's as connected as you are. But they kind of only talk to you, like, to connect you with someone. Or if you have something, opportunity, something, and they're only talking to you. Mind you, this is a friend. But they only they start to talk to you only for these reasons like because they see opportunity even if it's a fun time opportunity for a fun time like they see that you know how to have fun and you go out and you kind of just like you invite them to these things because you want them to enjoy too you want them to like enjoy their life too and when it comes time to just like i'm gonna get into that later when it comes time to just like talk with them or just vent to them they're not there but when it comes time to like oh i have this spot for us to go or oh do you want to come with me here or oh i know this person i could connect you with they ready <laughs> they're ready like they're ready so that's sign number one they're definitely an opportunist they want to get close to you based off of opportunity which goes into number two they tend to disappear when you need their friendship the most let's say you're really at your all-time low something is going on in your life you i always say friends like this is what i say i always say friends are like free therapists like i'm not saying i have to project all my um you have to project all your energy and by the way this is just like signs that i notice either i experienced it or i've seen others experience it and i kind of gather these 10 signs to like you know show you guys what a fake signs of a fake friend but yes so when you're at an all-time low or when you're just feeling low or if you're feeling sad or it could be as little or as big and they just disappear it's like <laughs> you got all that time to talk to me when there's something going on exciting but then it's like when i'm in a deep level or 
like some people are going through life changes or sometimes you just need someone it's simple humanity we need people to talk to to communicate to vent to 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 we want humans just want to be accepted loved and heard and if you disappear on your friends when they're going through things or you distance yourself intentionally for one reason or the other but back to tip number one sign number one when I have an opportunity for you, you check back with me. Even if you're busy. Like, let's say some people, they're truly busy. They don't have any time in the 24 hours to call you. But however, when you're going through something, they won't call you back. They won't check up on you. They won't just be there to talk to. They won't physically be there. They won't whatever. But then when it comes to an opportunity, they might be busy, but they don't make sure they call you back. Oh, I got this person that once I want you to want to connect you with. Oh, I'm busy. Or I'll call you back, and they call you back. But then it's oh, hey, like, what you doing? What's up? I just need someone to talk to. Oh, I'm busy. Right? Oh, this person's. <laughs> I'm just like, a lot of times that happens when you need friends the most, and that's not a real friend. I'm sorry, girl. If you're going through like a breakup. If you're going through losing your job, if you're going through something very, very, like, emotional and you notice who's not there. But when you're, like, enjoying, when you're flying to Dubai, when you're going to, like, out to eat, you're having fun, you could call this person. That, my dear, you got to reevaluate your friendship. And I'm sorry to tell you, but that person, he or she might just be a fake friend. So, number three. They're excited to tell you something negative, something someone said about you. Don't get me wrong. Everybody has a little gist. Everybody has a little something to say. Like, you know, like, like yeah, let's say you're the topic of conversation in a negative way. And they want to just tell you. So it's like, hey, keep an eye out on these people. Like, they were talking about you and whatever whatever and first of all that kind of rubs me the wrong way because I'm just like why are they so comfortable talking to you about me because let's say your sibling was around let's just say you were a group of people and someone's talking about your sister you would shut it down so how come when for let's use me as an example when Yabi is a topic of discussion they weren't even like, sh they didn't shy away from talking about me. They talked about me, they felt comfortable talking. About, and, and it's like, when you want to, I don't want to say that because like some people, they just talk or maybe someone overheard. If you heard that person talking about me and you're telling me, like let's say it's a group of friends and you guys just all talk, mess about each other. Like, <laughs> girl groups are crazy. But that's a story for another day. But let's say you guys all talk a mess about each other. And you're telling me, like, hey, you know such and such, Jessica? Let's use that name. Yeah, she said, there's there's two ways of doing it. Oh, yeah, you know Jessica? Yeah, she said, like, yo, like, you gain mad weight. And, like, oh, my gosh, like, you're this and you're that. And you, you did it. Like, they're almost, like, it's a thrill they get. But then it's like, there's another phone call, like, hey, you know, Jessica, yeah, she was, like, talking about you. Like, they're even, like, afraid to tell you because it's just, like, they don't feel comfortable telling you something negative that someone said about you. There's two different ways of people. Why are you excited to tell me something that somebody said? <laughs> it's kind of like, you're kind of getting a kick out of it. So, definitely that is number three number four they talk about you when you're not around or allow others to talk about you when you're not around which i kind of just went over um how people kind of like they allow it they don't shut it down they talk about you when you're not around i i noticed some people like they get close to people just to learn about them, to know about them, because they probably like you from afar and they want to be befriend you, they want to become friends with you, they want to go out with you, they want to like, you know, talk with you and be cordial, whatever. 
And there's some people that intentionally get close with you, unfortunately, just to talk about you. Or just like get to know you literally just to spread your business. Oh yeah, this is what she's going through. Oh yeah, this is what's happening. Oh yeah, this is what and I'm just like are you a friend of me? Like like why does your best friend know my deepest secrets? I mean secrets or whatever business. She's your best friend. She's not mine. She, she, don't gotta, she doesn't have to know what I'm going through. Wow. <laughs> like, side number five is they're insecure when they're around you. Of course, you can be insecure about something and then a friend can be more secure about something. But... They shouldn't, pro like, okay. I love to speak in analogies. I like to actually give examples of things or or try to, you know, compare something to another thing so someone can understand in a better way. Um, let's say you don't like your teeth. And you invite a friend that has perfect teeth. Like they got Invisalign, they got veneers, they, or they just were born. God bless people that are born with good teeth. <laughs> They're born with good teeth, like, you know? So, they, I don't know if that's a good example, actually, because I could get into it, but with a sign of a fake friend, not really. Like, basically, what I'm trying to get at is, because they feel insecure about themselves, they will purposely, like, not invite you out or when you're around other people they will point out your insecurities because they feel insecure about themselves um but that's a big one there are some people that plan a whole outing and intentionally not invite you out only because whether you know you get attention and whether that's from going out and then men approaching you or the, some people even feel insecure about their friends liking you, like their personal friends liking you, and they can not like that. They're like, oh, like everyone, like you know when you I I posted something the other day. It was like a meme, and I was just like, oh my gosh. Um, let me actually look for it. You know when you kind of gravitate this like exude this attraction to people or you exude confidence or you exude just like people liking you it can make people feel insecure and not invite you out because of that okay uh so i posted the other day i said i'll probably post it on a screen here it's a quote not a quote but it's just a saying when you naturally attract attention without even trying, you need to be careful. That kind of magnetism also attracts jealousy and envy. And of course, like, I always tell people, not everybody jealous of you. Not everybody's envious of you. Some people just don't like you. Like, people call everyone a hater. Oh, I don't like your dress. You a hater. No. They don't like your dress. Everyone has their own opinion. But, you know, jealousy and envy is an ugly trait. And I consider real jealousy or real envy to be like someone just not liking you because you're you, like, or because of other people liking you. And yeah, so definitely they um they feel insecure about themselves, so they probably don't invite you out because you'll take attention, whether it's from their friends or whether it's just from a career like some people they feel threatened by your by your skills like let's say you guys are both learning something together or doing something together and they can give you advice on a business idea let's just say you guys have a business going on together and they can give you advice on some something they will not give you advice because they're insecure about how you would use that advice or that tip and multiply your in your profits when they probably could do the same thing, but they rather kind of like block you from your blessing, if you get what I'm saying. Um, so it's like, let's say you guys just want to do like a business together, like, um, I don't know, you guys are selling cars together. And they kind of like do like 
a thing where they have a new strategy that is really kicking up and it's like ooh I could teach my friend the strategy but she might get more sales than me there it share the wells there is money in this in this part for everybody like share the wells like share the tips if you have a skill if you know something that other people can hop on and profit or whatever the case may be let other people know what is it i got a hundred dollars in my pocket you got a hundred dollars in your pocket we both have a hundred dollars in our pocket so why can't you just like <laughs> i don't get people so yeah they're insecure when they're around you whether that's financially physically mentally emotionally whatever they're just insecure when they're around you and they want to you know connect you with whatever so that is one two three four five number six you vented them about something and they turn around and use what you vented about as a joke drops the mic <laughs> that is the worst like have you ever talked to a friend about something that hurt you whether it, it whether it's about a relationship a friendship anything and they turn around and use it against you so for instance let's say you talk about you're going through a problem with a friend or let, I don't know like let's just say you have um let's say you broke up with your boyfriend because you're messy like you're like in a literal sense like you're not clean and you vent to them about that and then they turn around and use it in a joking sense like let's say you go over a friend's house and you kind of like for don't throw out your plate or you put the dish in a sink or I don't know and they kind of joke and say like I'm not Robert I'm not Robert don't be leaving your dishes in the sink or they like you could have just said hey sis could you like um wash your dishes because it's a lot to clean like or oh you can even say wash those dishes like like please like you know I don't like my place in the mess why did you mention something that I vented to you about and then turn it back on me and put a twisted it in a joke, especially in front of other people? Why'd you do that? Because now you're making me not feel comfortable ever telling you anything again because I was already vulnerable enough to tell you this and you kind of like, I'm not Robert, don't leave my house in a mess. And you know I told you that I was kind of messy and like I would do this. So he complained about it. So why would you do that? I'm never telling you anything again. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Some friends are just like that. Well, some fake friends are like that. Number seven is find reasons not to like you. Oh, yeah. Okay. So they find reasons not to like you and they have beef with you, but you don't even know. You don't even know. They're so quick to pick up the phone and call you. Yeah, so you're saying this and this about, like they would say something that maybe like, they just create a problem out of nothing where you could approach me in a way of like, oh, hey, like such and such, like I seen this or I heard this, like they want to create a problem or they have imaginary beef with you. Like anything you do irritates them anything you say irritates them and you don't even know like i'm over here living my happy-go-lucky life and you're irritated by my presence but then i'm still your friend like come on i'd rather you just be honest and straightforward and just kind of like stop being my friend than to be a fakie so definitely watch out for people like that that find reasons not to like you for any little thing or they just try to create a problem off of like hearsay or or just like, <sighs> yeah, so definitely watch out for people that find reasons not to like you or they just have imaginary beef with you. Because then anything you do 
they'll look at like oh yeah she's that she's that and they can run off and start talking about you just because they don't like you tip number eight y'all barely talk but they only hit you up when it's beneficial that kind of ties into tip number one an opportunist so you notice some friendships there could be a sudden change in this like you guys talked every day and i don't know where you guys barely talk or they become distant but then they're they're in distance when you got a connect something going on or just something to like like benefit them like whether that's money or connecting them with someone just whatever like they are they barely talk to you they're all of a sudden busy they're all of a sudden don't have any time they're all of a sudden making excuses not to talk to you but then when it's beneficial they start calling that's not a real friend that is somebody that is an opportunist and you do not want to be friends with people that are opportunists because then it ends up not being a friendship you might as well just be business partners so that way we both benefit off of this like you know what what's my cut keep your cut <laughs> like let's keep it pushing we could we, we could call each other just on, on a business level hey what's up what's up girl um we got this going on like did you do this are you checking with this like we don't gotta call each other and bend about our lives anymore let's just keep it as a partnership because clearly you only call me when it's beneficial so let's just be business partners yeah so definitely watch out for the fakies the ones that only call you when it's beneficial but when you're going through stuff they don't got your time so number nine is you always check up on them first when you see it's a one-sided relationship when you see it's like you're always calling them first and they constantly say they're going to call you back and they never return your calls and you kind of are the one to make initiate plans first you're the one to just do things first like make sure they're good first like you just feel like they're not there for you or you're always looking out for them they don't look out for you during like you know just anything like if you guys go out together and you guys are kind of like like you just got their back and then like it's not reciprocated it's kind of like all right like <laughs> maybe this is really one-sided and i just need to take a step back because i can't give my caring heart too much to people and it's just not even half reciprocated like as long as you're good as long as you are situated but even if you guys go out together and then they kind of like leave you behind or they like like situate themselves and you're kind of like I don't know just people that don't got your back like people that you kind of you can be out of the country and if you get stranded everybody gotta go they're not looking back once for you they just keep going <laughs> like those people are not your friends they should just be associates people that you kind of just hit up to go out with link up with we're not gonna be on the phone talking hours on hours long about just our, our lives ideas we have for ourselves or our goals no we'll just call each other like hey girl like let's just go here keep it pushing like that's it because I'm always checking up on you first. I just always got your back first, but it's just not returned. So, <laughs> okay, so the last and attempt sign that I have for you guys, signs of a fake friend, is they easily can drop you as a friend when it suits them. Friends that drop you like a fly, like something that could have easily been talked about or just like hashed out when it was fresh or maybe it was a misunderstanding or miscommunication or it was a hearsay he said this she told me you said this something that if you're my friend you should have that i don't want to say benefit of the doubt but you should have that trust in me or at least the courtesy a courtesy call to just check in like hey this is what i'm hearing like um i just want to hear what you said because i didn't hear from you directly but this is what's happening this is what this person told me you said whatever whatever or whatever the case may be, they just drop you like a fly. Like they don't even give you the chance to speak 
say your own little mind, something that's like little, like could have been hashed out, could have been like, okay, like, but if they just so quick to drop you, they're looking for a reason to not be your friend. They were looking for something, an excuse to just stop being your friend and then kind of like become a friend of me or an enemy or just like <laughs> have a reason to stop talking to you or some people, they just, you know, they have their season with you and that's it. But, um, you know, definitely like if you can't just talk to me about like a little something, then come on, like we probably weren't really friends because friendships definitely go through things and you just have to communicate with your friend. But if you're so quick to just stop talking to that friend, maybe you guys just shouldn't be friends. But anyways, this concludes my 10 signs of a fake friend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, definitely watch my previous videos of frenemies, fake friends, how to spot a jealous friend. And I just want to continue these girl talks. I might shift them from friends to like dating. Maybe my next video could be like dating red flags, red flags in a man, red flags in a woman. I don't know. I'll situate something. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys next week.